What up, Coop Group? Welcome to Alliance War Season 30, War Number 5, where we are coming from a death last war and we need to make up for revenge. The funny thing is, I was given the exact same fight as my first fight this war against Chavez and Up and Flow Knockdown, and man, was I scared. So anyways, I was given Ghost, Wasp, and Warlock as my attack team. Um, I think I only have five fights scheduled this war with Ghost have, having four and Warlock having one. So I'm running full suicides because both Ghost and Warlock are really good with suicides. I don't plan to be throwing too many specials with both of them to be worried about suicides. But yeah, I'm joining at 18 hours. I think that's when we like just got our paths and people started moving. Uh, we were a bit later on this war, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to be on path 5 against that Chavez and that Sasquatch. So I was first told to use Warlock for that Sassy, but I think Ghost is a lot quicker and better. And then... Um, um, Assigned that Strife on Footloose and Connect Transference, which I was a bit worried about, but I took it like many seasons ago, and there's no global on that note. And then there's Black Widow Clairvoyant, um, and then I'm maybe assigned the Storm Pyramid X, or I'll be assigned either Guardian and I think Sim or Sim Supreme, because those are all going to be ghost fights, so we can get those to fight down as quick as possible. Um, so yeah, I actually ended up taking that Korg right there. Because I was super boosted and I took no more fights after that. So yeah, path three, uh, sorry, path five up the middle. Then I'm going to be sharing path six and then taking that Korg. So I'm not too worried, except for this fight. This fight was the one I was most worried about uh, because I did die to this last war. And America Chavez is a complete hole, a complete bag, complete douchebag, as I should say. Because she throws heavy attacks out of nowhere. And her heavy attacks have a lot of utility to them. If... You um you have to make sure you like watch out when you hit into a heavy attack when you punish it. She has something happen for the first, second, and third hit. You need to punish it correctly and not the same one too many times, or else you're screwed. I think power gain is the first one. The second time, um, is recoil, and the third one is something else, <laughs> like maybe weakness. So it makes you hit not as hard. So you gotta be very careful to punish at the right times, not too many times in a row. You can't punish the second time two times, or else you're basically gonna recoil to death and you'll die based on any hit. Which kind of happened last war is what happened, and I learned her kit even more. I thought I knew it. And I knew if you throw heavy attacks, if she throws heavy, you're screwed. Um, but what went wrong last war is that I missed a parry and I threw a special two out of nowhere. So gonna have the same boost for this this fight right here, and going in. So I'm going to make sure she doesn't throw any heavies at all. That's my one goal. One goal. Boom. Heavy attack. First off. First thing she does. And I threw a medium attack there. So I don't know why the hell I did light attack there. But she threw it. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you joking? Ugh. I was so pissed. And she's just not letting me hit into her either. So here's another heavy attack again. Again. There's two heavy attacks. And I had to punish the second hit. So she's in the negative zone. I got no power back at all. At all. No power back. She decks me there. It's fine. Going to throw that. Try to punish the first hit. Too slow. And yeah, I got, I'm kind of pissed I got no power back at all on that, on that special two. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, parried her there, and she's down. I'm at 67%. That was not a very pretty fight because I missed a um, heavy punish because it's just too quick. And I don't know when she's going to throw heavy. She has a worse AI than Mysterio. Way worse. So I didn't know she was throwing it when, whenever she threw it. Not like I was baiting heavy, but anyways, I'm going to put on one potion here, go into a sassy fight, I have the same boost going, got my power start one boost, which is going to do a lot for me, going to start with a special one, and hopefully this fight, I'm able to get some power back. Um, I'm going to try and throw a heavy attack, as it says there, before I get a special two, right there, nice heavy attack, now I'm going to intercept here, throw a big special two, hope it does a lot of damage, doesn't do as much as I hoped, I do get another special two, but hoping that he runs at me, he does, going to throw another special two right here, before knockdown ends, Perfect, and it kills him right before knockdown ends, and he didn't get a chance to regen at all. So that fight went just as well as I hoped. I was told Warlock for that fight at first, just to manage the regeneration, but I'm pretty sure Ghost is actually really good for that fight, and I'll probably be Ghost in that fight again if I'm given it. As for that Chavez, I don't ever want that fight again, but I'm going to be given it because I'm the expert now that I've taken it down. Um, now on to Footloose, Kinetic Transference, Strife. There's no global here, so I don't have to worry about high ground or just having him hit into my block. If he has willpower, which I'm hoping he does, I can control his power a lot easier. And the goal is to just throw special twos over and over. That's why I'm putting on a 200% boost. Put on an inbound boost in case he hits me. 
Um, especially one is super easy to evade and it doesn't do anything for connect transference. I think Strike for Silas no because if he throws a special two, it's a lot of hits and he'll you get a lot of power back. Um, if he throws a special three at me, it's no big deal. I have an invuln. I put a heavy there just to see if he's running it, running willpower and he is. He has all that power back, so I'm gonna put an infection on him very soon. I'm gonna parry here. Infection's almost on. Another parry and infection is on. We parried him there. Whatever. But now I'm controlling his power. He's gonna throw another special one. But I'm almost at a special two. I'm at one special one. I'm not concerned at all here. Um, I could just throw a heavy attack. I think I did just to make sure that the infection is doing its job, controlling his power pretty well. Got to watch out for the telepathic charge, but it's not a big deal at all. Um, throw a special two, but it's going to take away his power. And just one special two and he's done. Honestly, super easy fight. Always do that with Warlock. It's so easy. Um, I was asking if a torch can do it because you don't have to worry about miss. But honestly, not a big deal. Going to help move here for my buddy Blazing because he's going to take that with Doom, I believe. And then I'm going to take that Black Widow Clairvoyant in a little bit. I think it's like 1640 right now left. So in like 20 minutes, he takes that fight. He pushes me forward to take the Black Widow Clairvoyant on the same tech boost, which I'm grateful for because I'm running low on tech boosts. Yeah, so not even 10 minutes later, um, I'm going to put another potion into Ghost. It took a little bit to get into this fight because I was asking leadership if I was able to take that Korg also because I'm super boosted and I want a reason to put on a power set one boost again not just for one fight because I can easily do this fight with our power set one but if I'm doing that Korg fight I might as well put a power set one for two fights to make it quicker um, my fight time is actually really good this war and at this point I think we were losing already so I'm like you know what let me take that Korg um, another ghost was already assigned it anyways this jerk didn't want to run into me, but my goal is to not get parried. She's really good at parrying, hence why I only um, phased one hit there. Got to throw a special three here. Actually, I should have done special three right away, um, right after the special two, just so I didn't have to deal with the recoil. But I'm like, please finish her off so I can get to that cork fight really quickly. Boom, bada boom, and she is down. I think I just didn't know if I had a special two or a special three. It's why I waited there, but I should have known that I went special three. Now, the fifth fight this war, so far these fights are going pretty decent, except for that Chavez fight, it's just scary as heck. Um, my goal here is to turn off rock charges and to take away the ebb and flow intercept protection right before I get a special two. If I have to turn off a little sooner, that's fine. I'll get to a special two before he gets to a special one, so that's kind of my goal here. Um, I can't really parry him with Mighty Charge. I can re-parry him, but I can't get it promised. Um, so I'm going to phase two hits here. I'm hoping to phase two hits here. I just phase one there. I'm like, whatever. I turn up and flow. The, um, his rock charges are off. Big special two. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna throw a big special three right here before recoil hits. I think recoil like mentioned there, but it didn't hit. But I think after the special three, since it doesn't finish him off, I'm sure I'm gonna lose that five percent health from recoil. Hoping this finishes him, but I'm like, whatever. It's the last fight in my war. Um, recoil actually activated right there. Go throw a special one to finish this fight off. So I knew it, that I still had my ebb and flow intercept activated, and I knew it was over. So yeah, I was pretty frustrated this war from the previous war and just from life in general. So um, I figured that the other guy who had a ghost was going to take that um, Storm X while he was boosted for his path. But anyways, here's from that same day. Here's, or actually the next day, I think. Here's me getting some frustration out from doing three triples in a row. It's a new combo that I got, hoping to put it in my new routine. Um, but yeah, I'm a gymnast. That's just who I am. I think I'm going to include a video at the end of every video if I can. But anyways, five fights and 18k health I had to get bath based on all the ghost fights because that stupid Chavez fight just didn't go how I planned. But I could have done so many more Warlock fights. Warlock just destroyed it. <laughs> um, I have died once with with Black Widow Clairvoyant this season and once with Ghost. So we'll see who I'm just worst at this season because apparently I am barely even have any streak at all. <laughs> But yeah, Ghost is killing it this this season, which means I'm losing out on a lot of tech boosts. I need those to get into the store like right away because they haven't been in the store forever. I've been throwing on a, a lot of crystals to try and get those boosts back. Um, I think I have like one left, 150% boost and one 200% tech boost and maybe one 8% and one 12% tech boost. So I have enough for like one more war to use on text, which I'm probably going to save for ghosts because I'm sure I'll be ghosting. But we have so many ghosters in my alliance now. I'm a battle group. So honestly, I probably won't be even be given any more ghost fights considering that I'm just not that good anymore. So yeah. Feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know if you got to the end of the video and I'll catch you later. It's Coop. Sign off. Oh yeah, we lost this war. Happy gaming.